Abby J from AJ Life Hacks, and today I'm sharing with you the top tips you have to know if you want to impress somebody in an interview, which is so critical to make that awesome first impression. And if you follow these six tips I'm going to share with you today, that is going to be so easy for you. So let's get going and share these tips with you right now. tip that I have for you when it comes to making a great impression and we all know it but it's to dress the part. Now I get that we've been told that our whole lives to always look really nice when we go into an interview but I'm taking it one step further and to dress the part for that company. It's so critical to understand what the dress code is at this place of your the business that you're trying to get a job at. Now I get that you've probably never set foot in that building before, but what industry is it? I'm never going to advocate that you should wear jeans to an interview, but there's definitely a scale from wearing a suit to wearing a more casual business outfit. So figure out what it is that this company, how they dress, and make sure that you are looking very sharp on your part and wearing the best colors for your skin and for your personality and showing off who you are. The second tip for you really goes with that first tip, and it is to research the company. I can't tell you, I've been in quite a few interviews where I've been a little bit surprised at how little I knew about the company when I'm in that interview. And that is the last place that you want to be surprised about what these guys do, what they sell, what services they offer, because you're ultimately saying, I get what you're doing and I want to be a part of it. So let there be no surprises for what this company does. And it especially shows so well on you when you can tailor your answers to their questions around, you know, services that you know that they offer or like a business that's comparable that you've worked for before. It shows that you've done your research and that you are a very smart candidate. My third tip for you is to be understated versus overstated on your resume. What do I mean by this? I mean that your resume should have on it things that you want to talk about and nothing else. Don't feel like you have to put everything you've ever accomplished on your resume. Just put the things that are relevant to the field that you're trying to start your career in or make a career change into and what you want to talk about. Don't feel like you have to put that award you got at a family party for being the most improved pianist. Those things aren't really relevant and you don't want to talk about them. Also at this point is it's so much better to put, you know, a fact about maybe what you've done at a company or that you were promoted and let that interviewer ask you about that and then let them be blown away at how amazing you were to get that promotion or what it really took in your day to day job to make their sales goals. So that way they're way more impressed. You want to be so excited to talk about what's on your resume and if you aren't, don't include it. My fourth tip for you is to always have extra copies of your resume and any other material you've given them, such as a cover letter, writing samples, or any other um, documents that you've sent over beforehand, make sure you have copies of them and at least two to three. My fifth tip for you is to have two to three questions prepared that you want to ask in that interview. Now that might seem a little bit weird because you're the one answering all the questions, but without a doubt, there will always be a time in an interview when they ask you, are there any questions you have for us? And that is when you need to come prepared with some very educated questions. Because if you don't, in that moment you'll go, um, no, I'm good. And it shows that you're unprepared. Or you'll just say some really generic ones like, oh, tell me about the culture of the company. Tell me why it's so great to work here. Those seem like great questions on the surface, but every company is going to tell you that their culture is amazing. Come up with some questions that actually matter to you. And one of those usually is, hey, when are you going to make a decision about hiring? That's really important to you right now to know whether you should freak out if you haven't heard back in three days or if you haven't heard back in two weeks. And my last tip for you with interviewing, and it's probably the most important tip I could give you, is to be yourself. And we've heard our whole lives to be ourselves, but hear me out on why it's so important in an interview. It's critical to be yourself because this person is trying to sense who you are in a quick hour, maybe half an hour of 
just assessing you and looking at you and looking at a piece of paper to tell about you. So show your true personality. And that doesn't mean you have to be over the top or fake because the more true you are to your personality, the better assessment they have about the type of person you are and if you truly will fit the culture of that workplace. Definitely put your best foot forward, but who better to know if you're a great fit for the company than somebody who's worked there before. And hey, if that means you don't get the job, then it probably means you wouldn't have liked the job. So the more you are yourself, the more that you can show your true personality, the better it is for you in the long run. So there are the six tips that you need to practice and follow if you want to knock them dead in that interview. So I know that you are just a go-getter and you're going to do amazing in that interview, but I hope these tips helped you. Please give this a nice thumbs up if you like the content and comment below on maybe some of the jobs that you're going to go for in the future or which tip you liked best. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel where I have videos coming out every week that are going to help you achieve your ultimate success. So thank you for watching. Abby J out.